Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jamil from Honest Sense. I'm going to be talking about some fragrances that I'm actually going to be wearing in the fall of 2022. This is more like my pre-fall list. So anyway, if you kind of convert into leaving the summertime and actually get into the fall. And sometimes fall leaves so quick and you just jump right into winter. So this is my pre-fall list. I'm not going to come up the, with, with the original fall list, but this is just my pre-fall list where I could wear these fragrances right now and I could wear this into the fall. But anyway, I'm going to be starting from my number five and work my way all the way down. And the reason I'm going to be starting with my number five is because it's going to be my least what I'm going to be wearing all the way. Number one is going to be my the most that I'm going to be wearing. And basically, these are only five that I'm actually going to be wearing. Um, I, I do I do have a, a niche, some niches in here, and I do have mostly some of the diners that's in here. Um, by the way, please subscribe to my channel. Um, basically, um, I had to put this put this list together is because I wanted um, some fragrance that what I'm going to be wearing is definitely going to be very highly complimented. Um, these fragrances definitely going to can last. It's going to have some citrus within it, and it also going to have some some that is going to definitely get you compliments maintaining in the fall time. So with further ado, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit that bell. Um, so I'm going to get into the right now. And um, this fragrance right here, this probably been on a lot of people's lists back in the day, but probably, probably right, probably not now, but but me, this fragrance definitely still works for me. So I'm going to be actually wearing this fragrance, even though it's one of my least, it's one of my, my least that I'm going to be wearing, but I'm definitely going to be wearing it. I still get compliments with it. People still ask me what I'm wearing. Um, and I do know fragrance does work on different people when it comes to your skin chemistry and you know, what you eat and, and whatever. But anyway, um, if this this comes from the house and it comes from the house of Creed, it's going to be called Creed Aventus. And just for the F FYI, this is the 2021 batch. Um, what I definitely like about this um, this fragrance right here, um, I definitely get the, the the sweet, the apple, the pineapple. I definitely get some ambergris. I get the, the, the dry down on this fragrance. is definitely with this is going to shine when you start getting some vanilla to get that jasmine in it it's smooth definitely still good compliments on it to me i would says um i get a lot of compliments from creed aventus uh, from from women then i would get it from men um but either way i'm definitely get a lot of compliments with this fragrance normally i go to two to three sprays with this one um, this fragrance definitely could sneak up on you real, real quick because you'll actually think the fragrance is actually gone, but it's actually still there. So I go two or three sprays on it, two or three sprays. I'm getting between eight to nine hours with it. The projection's about two hours and um, great overall fragrance. Smells good, smells expensive. I know this fragrance has been has a lot of clone that's out on this fragrance, but I haven't seen anyone that does it better um, than Creed Aventus when they try to come out with the clone. They may get a little bit close but they don't do it better um and sometimes that's not a and sometimes that's not a bad thing especially if you get something cheap you can get something like a, a um arm off and you can get it real much more cheaper and but this definitely does a great and that fragrance is definitely good too um intense but but anyway but this is creed Aventus. um great fragrance uh, overall it's a 2021 batch thank you uh, coming at my number, my number four is also by the house of Chanel, and this is called Chanel Olo Om or Um, I like about this fragrance when you first initially spray this fragrance, you're gonna get some mandarin orange. You definitely gonna get some mint. You gonna definitely get some nice sweet tonka bean. Um, like a, again, you know, um, this is just a pre fall list, so I need some, I need some citrus in there. I need something that's gonna be alluring. It's Chanel Olo. It's a ohm. It's a sport. Um, this fragrance uh, on my skin, I'm getting between seven to nine hours of this fragrance, and I'm going by five sprays. This is the EDT. Um, this is a hundred ml bottle. I have like thirty mils left into the bottle. I haven't waited or nothing like that, but but I can shake it up and I kind of know what's in there because I wore this fragrance many a times. Um, this fragrance is actually pretty pretty good. Um, I don't know any. Um, clones of this fragrance or there's any type of designers that try to copy this fragrance i don't know that but but i, I am going to tell you that to me this fragrance is definitely unique on its own um definitely get a lot of compliments um i get compliments from men women whoever 
And this fragrance definitely does it for me. You could dress this fragrance up. You could dress it down. It's casual. Um, just, just works. This fragrance just works. Um, the quality in this fragrance is pretty good. It is, a, it is, it is a Chanel fragrance, but it's not generic, but, and it's not, um, ex, um, and it doesn't smell expensive. It just, it just works. Um, great fragrance overall, Chanel, Chanel Allure. Coming at my number four pre flawless. Um, coming at my number three. Uh, as the, the pre fall list is from the house of YSL, Lana Week, the long blue electric. Um, this fragrance right here smelled to me, smelled like 80% of the original Lana Week, the long. Um, but um, this one just lasts much more longer. I do prefer this one if you compare it to the original one. But um, but I do have YSL Frozen Cologne. I did not pick this in this list, is because. That fragrance is highly discontinued. There's people on eBay right now selling for like five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, and they selling that fragrance. But I love YSL Frozen Cologne. I am so happy that when I bought that fragrance, I got it for very, very cheap. I didn't, I really, I didn't have to um, um, pay that, want to pay that premium. And I advise no one not to pay that premium. But anyway, right here, so you don't have to do that. You got the blue electric, and obviously, don't go by the name. The name is deceiving. It says blue electric. I don't smell not too much of of the blue that's in this fragrance. I think all electric is more of the, the blue fragrance. I think blue electric should have been all electric and all electric should have, should have just been this one. Um this fragrance right here, you definitely get that cardamom. Um get more, I get more of a, a green cardamom. Um this fragrance right here definitely um 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 give you the, the DNA of the line of wheat, but there's more fresher. Um, just more fresher, just more lively, um, just more, much more wearable. Um, just a great fragrance overall. I think you should, if you have not got your nose on this one, I, I know there's a lot of people that had definitely had did this review on um, Blue Electric, and most people has been very, very happy and very, very satisfied. And I'm, and I'm one of them people. I am very happy that I did purchase this fragrance for a good price. But anyway, that's coming at my number three. Now, the, now I'm about to jump it in my number two. Coming at my number two is Final House of Zerjoff. It's probably everybody list. People say this is the best Zerjoff out of all of them. And I probably, I'm kind of 50 50 on that. But anyway, this is Naxos. Naxos, I mean, got this honey, got this tobacco, definitely had some, some cedar in there, got this nice lavender. When it, the lavender in here actually does not make this fragrance um, warm, it actually makes this fragrance fresh. Is make it more calming, make it just make it better overall, and that's the really what I like about this fragrance. Also, even have honey, it has a little bit of cinnamon. It just everything just done right with this fragrance. If if anyone if anybody want to say is Naxos a perfect ten in my book, this is a perfect ten masterpiece. Um, this is everybody top best Zerjoff, and it's crazy about it because anybody that normally have this fragrance, they normally do they never sell it. They always. Keep keep it on. They sell all the other ones, but they normally keep this one. Um, so I like Zerjoff Naxos. Um, Zerjoff Naxos. Um, I, I like the versatility of it. Um, I actually used to just think you could wear this fragrance in the fall and the wintertime, but I actually snuck and wore this fragrance is because it's that good. I actually wore it in the summertime, dead heat, 92, 93 degrees, and I was getting crazy compliments, crazy compliments. And when somebody asked me, they said, "Man, you smells real good." And I, I said, hey, is it is it strong? They said, no, it's not strong, but they could really they could smell it, but it's not strong. It's not something like it's it's not sensitive to the nose. But people actually really, really enjoy this, even in the hot weather. And I have wore this in the hot weather. I wore it like twice and I and and I received um some compliments with this fragrance. And this is Zer no, Zerjoff Naxos. And that's, that was number two. So coming at my number one is a house of Chanel, and it's called Blue Day Chanel. This is the parfum. Um, I really regret getting a 50 mil. I should have got 100 mil with this one. I just didn't want to pay the, the extra money. And I don't think I had the extra money, but I, I really didn't have it. Um, I, I, did, I did not think that I I will be, I don't, I didn't think I'd be loving this fragrance so much because I was so much consumed with the, the EDT and also with the EDP. And and I said, uh, no, I'm going. I'm just, I'm just going to get the parfum to get a small bottle. Don't need the hundred mil. 
And I actually wish I have ever, I think I wish I would have got a hundred mil bottle about this because not right now I'm calling myself I'm going to be saving this fragrance where I don't have to buy another bottle. I really don't want to, because if I go out there and buy another bottle, I'm probably not going to wear this fragrance. If I go out and get a hundred mil, I'm probably not going to wear this fragrance as much. So, so this right here is a 50 mil bottle. I paid like $130 for this fragrance. I actually paid full retail. Can you believe it? At Sephora. But anyway, this fragrance Definitely get the original DNA um, from the Blue de Chanel, but this is just more darker. Um, I, I definitely get the the, uh, the pineapple that ha they has in this fragrance. Um, just the cedar that's in this fragrance. It just this fragrance just overall smells good. You definitely get some compliments. This is your typical blue fragrance. It's going to be likable. People gonna give you comments on it. You could dress this up. You could dress this down. You could wear this during the summertime. You could wear it during the spring. You could wear it all seasons. And it's going to smell real, real good. Now, the difference between the EDP and the Parfum one is coming from the projection. This is more, much more concentrated where that is going to be, it's, it's going to last longer on your skin and where the EDP is going to project more. So, but anyway, this is the Chanel, Chanel, um, Blue Day Chanel, the Parfum. Great fragrance, definitely check this out. Um, this is definitely highly recommended. If you get get a, get a chance, get your nose on it. Try to get the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum. Try to smell them all at one time and see which one that you would like the best. But anyway, subscribe to my channel. Please hit that bell. I'm getting close to the thousand. But anyway, everybody, enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Thank you. Peace.